at sa kapikatan Ika'y amang nakikinig sa aking bawat dalangin Pag ang pananalig ay nasusubukan Ikaw ang tagapagligtas at ang nagmamahal sa akin Pupurihin ka, pupurihin ka, Panginoon. Pupurihin ka sa mga lahat ng pagkakataon. sa mga offices natin. I hope that you are energized. Okay, alam ko, day to pa lang ng prayer and fasting natin, but I'm sure there's so many highlights that you have for uh, maybe that you can share. And I want to encourage you right now, okay, dyan sa comment section natin, pwede mo bang i-comment kung ano so far yung highlight mo probably sa devotion. Maybe some of you, you've already have answered prayers. You know what? Type it down there so we can rejoice with you, your church community, right? We can also So, ma- must stir up yung faith din namin to continually believe and hope for the best that God has for us. You know, I think one of the best way to enter into worship is Thanksgiving today. Let me read this in, in, in Psalm 95. Let me read this. Sabi dito, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise. Sample naman dyan. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of my salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to Him with songs of praise. And here's the reason why. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And it goes onwards, sabi nito in verse 7, For He is our God and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His land. That's the reason. That's the posture that we have as we enter in worship. And here's our prayer. In verse 8, it says, Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts. And so why did you pray with me? Lord, today, as we enter into Your presence, Lord, what a privilege it is. Lord, we have access directly to You. And Lord, our, 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 some of us, maybe our, 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 our bellies are not just the one that's hungry. But as the Word says, our soul is panting, Lord, is, is longing for living water, for the living bread that is You, O oh Jesus. And so right now, Lord, we humble ourselves before You. We rid ourselves of distractions, Lord, and we focus, we fix our eyes on You. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Let's give God praise right now.
Diyos na sinasamba Makapangyarihan Siyang karunungan Tanging buhay Ang ating Diyos na naghahari Panginoong natatangi At magsamba Mga ba'y ay pagpupurihan siya Habang pinataas O pangalan mo, Jesus Itataas mang sasambahin. Pangalan mo lang ang dadakilain. Ikaw ang Panginoon at ikaw ang aming sasambahin ngayon at magpakailanman. Pupuriin ka, pasasalamatan ka. Napakadakila mo, Diyos, sa buhay naming lahat. Ito'y tinataas namin at dinadalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Good evening, Church. It's our day two of our prayer and fasting. Okay, sana malakas ka pa. Okay? Alam ko, medyo magkakahiwalay tayo, but it will never be a hindrance for us 
to encourage one another, to glorify God, and to pray. So day two po, okay? Pwede ba magingay naman kayo sa comment section, kahit na po anong emoticon dyan, na sumisigaw kayo, nakakamiss po, no? Yung we come together, worship God, during prayer and fasting, it's our day two of our abide uh, prayer and fasting. And today, tonight po, we'll be praying for the Philippines. There are some pe- cer- certain things po na wala tayong control. Uh, one of it is, of course, yung pagpinanganak tayo with the family that will be born, and at the same time, with the country that will be part of. And it's not an accident. Okay, pwede mo sabihin sa kami, hindi aksidente na Pilipino ka. Okay, at mahal ko ang Pilipinas. Okay, mahal po natin ang Pilipinas. Kaya nga po, as a, as a church, we really take time to pray for the nations, particularly to the Philippines. And uh, every time we pray to the Philippines, of course, hindi lang po to para i-bless yung bansa natin, but gusto natin yung buong bansa, no? We'll come together, worship the true God. And uh, when I was preparing for this, uh, one of the characters in the Bible that I really admire is Daniel. Okay, alam ko si Daniel, or some people would say Daniel, Daniel. Uh, there's a lot of different stories that people would remember him. Okay, one of those is yung, uh, when he would give the interpretation of the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar. And um, iba would tell me, lalo yung mga bata at kids' church, sasabihin nila, we would remember Daniel for for he's inside the lion's den, okay? Yung he became friend with the lion. So there's a lot of different stories. Maybe natatandaan niyo po si Daniel through his friends, si Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they entered the fiery furnace. And uh, nothing happened because that's the goodness of God. But uh, when I was preparing for this, uh, a word that really dawned on me is the prayer of Daniel. Uh, you'll find it in chapter 9 of the book of Daniel. I hope you have your Bible, no? Kahit na po, prayer and fasting, we will still talk about the Word of God. And uh, I will tell the story for the lack of time. Uh, si Daniel po, you know, during the reign of King Darius, he, he stumbled upon the book of Jeremiah. And when he was reading it, he saw the prophecy of the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah. And one of those prophecies, uh, that day, the nation of Israel will be under the captivity of the Babylonians and eventually the Assyrians for 70 long years. And um, just like Daniel, no, like a good citizen, he did not take this lightly. Okay, sabi na eh, wala na. Tapos na ang boxing. No, Daniel really took this to heart. And uh, what really got me is in, found in verse 3, he says there, Then I turned my face to the Lord. Okay? With everything that is happening, he is under not really slavery because um, he's one of those people serving in the Babylonian uh, government. But at the same time, he's not into his own country. Kumbaga, he's still living in exile. Maybe some of you guys are watching, praying with us, naka-isolate ka rin ngayon. Maybe may ganun yung situation ni Daniel na, I can't do the things that I'm used to doing. I'm not in my home homeland, okay? Or I'm not able to go to the workplace, or I'm not able to, to enjoy the company of my family because I need to be isolated. See, Daniel, ganun din po. But the reaction of Daniel is really amazing because he said in that verse 3, I turned my face to the Lord. He did not went to the king. King Darius, we found favor from you. Can we now return to our country? Or nor he went to any other government official and said, can we find favor that you give us vacation so that we can go back? See, Daniel, the reaction first and foremost, he turned his face to the Lord. And it's amazing because he also described who God is. In verse 4, it says there, Oh Lord, the great and awesome God. Pwede nyo ba type dyan sa comment section, Great and awesome God. Okay, mag-iantay po tayo. Great and awesome God. Why do, but kailangan ni Daniel i-remind? Diba? There's no need for him to remind God who he is because he is God. But it's actually for Daniel to be reminded, God, you are a great and awesome God. What else? Sabi niya, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commands. Well, the steadfast love of the Lord, the Bible tells us in Psalm 33, uh, his unfailing love surrounds those who trust him. So Daniel was really prophesying this, saying this. You know, he's one of the uh, major prophets in the Old Testament. Sabi niya, God, you are a great and awesome God. At the same time, you keep command, your covenant and steadfast love to those who keep his command or who loves you and keep your commandments. So Daniel was actually reminding himself more than him reminding God. Okay, that's the God that we'll be praying to. Uh, praying to and praying for as well. Diba yung 
dinideclare natin kanina, napakadakila ng Diyos. Di ba yung mga Tagalog song, really would put tears in your, in your eyes and say, God, napakadakila mo. Ikaw lang talaga, the covenant-keeping God who gave us the covenant at the same time, you can fulfill all of this covenant. So let me continue with the story. I'll go back. In verse 3, sabi niya doon, Okay, I turn my face to the Lord, seeking Him by prayer, and please, okay, in please in other translation is petition, prayer and petition for mercy with fasting and sackcloth. That's the reason why we're going through prayer and fasting, so that we'll be aligned, di ba? It's not about us going through this manual, the abides manual and writing all of our prayer requests. God, ito yung mga gusto kong mangyari this 2022. It's all about me, 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 me. I have to go this, vacation like this, savings like this, promotion and all. Those are all good. God wants you to, to be blessed. Don't, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, when Daniel encountered God, sabi na doon, in prayer, in pleas for mercy and fasting and sackcloth, it's like mourning. Yung, yung sackcloth and ashes, they only do this, the, the Israelites, they only do this during the time of mourning. So his situation during the time, he's like in mourning. God, I'm praying for my nation. I won't take this sitting down. I won't tolerate this anymore, God. Someone to stand. Diba yung, so ano yung, I have three points that I want to share with you. First is that we must put away our pride and confess our sins. Because Daniel could just have said, God, I'm not part of those wicked people. Diba? The, the old Jewish nation that they disobeyed God, that's why they're going through this punishment. In fact, I kept your law. In fact, I, I even diba, with, withhold my, myself from eating this food that was served before me. Kaya nga like the Daniel fast, maybe iba sa inyo. So ano yung sabi ni Daniel? In verse 5, we have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled. We have sinned, done wrong, and acted wickedly. Okay, pause muna tayo doon. Yung rebellion, mamaya pag-usapan po natin further. But Daniel was associating himself with the rest of his nation. Though he may be serving in the government, he's saying, I'm part of this people, and these are my people. This is my nation, the Israelites. We may be in exile, but I'm associating myself with them. There's no excuse for me in saying, God, sila lang po ang sinner. I'm not part of this. Diba? Just like our situation right now, there's no, no point for us to point fingers kung sino may kasalanan, bakit tayo may COVID dito, bakit lumagana, bakit after the holidays, ito na naman, nagsasurge na naman, bakit alert level 3 na naman, maybe the government's doing something. It's not that time for us to point fingers at other people. Just like Daniel, he took it upon himself. God, at one point, I have sinned. At one point, I have done something wrong. At one point, I acted wickedly. No, I get reminded with this verse. You'll find it uh, in Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. But we've been doing this since 2020. Um, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will give. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. First, it starts by humbling ourselves. God, I'm part. At one point, God, at, at one point, I disobeyed. At one point, I sinned. At one point, I said something that is not pleasing, that is not right. At one point, because the, the official that I voted, hindi siya nanalo, so I, hindi ko siya sinunod. I never prayed for this. At one point, maybe, okay, I'm not saying all of you, okay, maybe at one point, we committed some of this. So, but God made a promise that if we humble ourselves, we pray and seek His faith, turn from our wicked day, ways, He will hear us. He will forgive us. And at the same time, He will heal our land. That's the reason why we're praying. Okay, so, ano sabi dun? Not only that he sinned, he acted wickedly, done wrong, but he rebelled. At one point, we rebelled, probably. I rebelled, okay? I'm taking ownership in this. At one point, I rebelled because nga, God, hindi naman lahat na sinabi nila gusto ko. But at one point, even in my heart, your Bible, the Bible tells me to, to pray for my leaders, but because they are not the people I voted, I'm not praying for them. Am I rebelling against the official or am I rebelling against the Word of God? And at one point, God rebuked King Saul okay, because of his rebellion. You'll find it in, in 1 Samuel chapter 15. Sabi din, for rebellion is like a sin of divination. It's like witchcraft. Okay? If you're rebelling, it's like witchcraft. Walang pinagkaiba doon, sabi ni God. And your arrogance like the evil of idolatry. 
So, it's no simple things when we rebel. Okay? Kaya nga, pinag-usapan natin ito. And Daniel was so into the moment of saying, God, we committed sin. We have done wrong. We acted wickedly. We rebelled against your command, against your will, against the things that you've asked us to do. That's the reason why we're suffering. That's the reason why we have to go through this. It's not because of other people's fault. He took ownership. No excuses. Sabi mo sa katawin mo, kung may katabi ka, walang excuse. No excuses. Not only that we must put away our pride and confess our sins, but we must cry out to the Lord, to God, for His mercy and His forgiveness. He took ownership. Daniel said, okay, I've committed all of this, but I will turn my face towards God, who can give me mercy and forgiveness. In verse 9, it says there, To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness. To Him alone. Alam niya kung kanino siya lalapit. Eh. Alam niya kung sino yung na-offend niya. Alam niya kung sino yung, yung nag-rebel siya against. It's against God who is merciful and at the same time forgiving. We have rebelled against Him. So sabi ni Daniel, okay, to you, O Lord, I will, I will give the, to you, O Lord, belong mercy and forgiveness. So sa iyo ako hingi ng mercy and forgiveness because you alone can help us. Not this, don't get me wrong, not this um, vaccine. Vaccine may be good for some, not good for some, but it won't save us. It's only the goodness of God who can save us because of His mercy for all of us. We are still here, alive, praying, worshiping God, enjoying His presence. It's all because of the mercy of God. The reason why you still have work, the reason why you still have business is because of the goodness of God, the mercy of God being shown to you. And that's what we're going to cry out to tonight. Not only that, Daniel at one point described also that the Lord is righteous. Okay, and you'll find it in verse 7 that He is a righteous God. Okay, so tama si God. Alam niya kung ano yung ginagawa niya. Hindi po siya nagkakamali. So not only that we should humble ourselves, repent of our sin, turn to God, ask for His mercy and forgiveness, but the last point is we must believe God. The reason why we're praying is because we know that God is a good God. Dakila ang Panginoon, tama ba? The reason why Daniel was bold enough to say, God, I, please forgive me of all my sins. You are a covenant-keeping God. What you have said in the Word, in the Bible, we can stand on it because you are a faithful God. And we must believe. Kaya nga si Daniel reminded himself again. And now, O Lord our God, who brought your people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand. Okay, look at this in this perspective. Daniel was looking back of what happened in the past and he's reminding himself, God, you are faithful back then. You, sl- you saved your people from slavery. Surely, you can still save us in this moment. What a great reminder for all of us. Whatever circumstances we're going through right now, we can look back, God, you've been faithful to me last 2021. You've been faithful to me last 2020 when this all started. You will still be faithful to me this 2022. But the first and foremost, we should be right with God. Okay, the, the ultimate breakthrough when I was talking to, to my family, the ultimate breakthrough is that we encountered God, this prayer and fasting. It's not, yeah, those things, sabi ko kanina, maybe provision, financial breakthrough, um, healing or salvation, those are all good. But ang tanong muna is, are we right before God? If God being right with God is the only thing that we'll experience this whole five days of prayer and fasting, then we have a biggest great th- breakthrough because all of this blessing, all of this provision, all of these promises that will come to us will happen because just, just like the Bible says, no matter how many promises God has made, they're yes in Christ. And through us, His people, the amen is spoken for His glory. The Bible also tell, told us in, Jer- in Joshua, not one of the good promises God has made failed all of them come to fruition so god is faithful but the question now is are we right before god and i want to start by asking you my friends are we right before god is there anything that we've been hiding from him no just like daniel i believe he's a prophet he's a man after god's word God's presence, but at the same time, he is bold enough to say, God, I have sinned. God, please forgive me. I'm asking for your forgiveness. And I want to lead people, before we even pray for our prayer requests, for our prayer points, is for us to be right before God. That we will say, God, 
I want to be right with you. This 2022, as I start this year, I don't want to start without you. I don't want to go through this 2022 without you. Blessing, provision, good health, salvation, all of these are good. But if you will not be with me, I don't think it's worth it, God. I want to give you time. If there's anything you want to confess before God, He knows your heart. He sees your heart. This is a time we need to be right with God. This is a time we will just say, acknowledge before Him, God, I want you. I want you more into my life. I want, I want God to your word will be the biggest thing, Lord, that I'll be holding on, I'll be craving for every single day. Maybe at one point, you said, set aside muna natin word ni God, ang dami nangyayari. Isn't it the time that we need the word of God all the most? To hold on to Him, to cling on to Him, and say, God, I need you. And I'm sorry for any sin that I have committed any any rebellion maybe with my parents the government even with my boss maybe or any wickedness or any addiction that you want to surrender before God any idolatry anything that's taking away the place of God into your heart this is a time where we just surrender before Him and say God I'm surrendering everything unto you I just want to lead you to prayer. Lord, you know my brothers and my sisters, what they're going through right now. You are the God who knows the very thought in their minds and the intention of their hearts. Lord, your hand is never too short. You are a good God. You're always in the business of reconciling people back to you. And now we're saying, we want to be reconciled to you. This 2022, God, you will be the biggest voice that we will shout. You will be the biggest name that will boast around our families, our office, our community. This 2022, we will magnify your name. We will declare your goodness. We will declare your faithfulness to us. We repent man, for everything that we have done that have offended you. We're sorry but let our action declare it that we will run towards you every single day in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Towards the last part of the chapter in verse 17, after Daniel made that confession, he started now asking for prayer. In fact, he said, these are the things that we're believing for. And we will come together as a church community believing God for, for His Word to be appropriated in us for this nation. I'm going to call on Pastor James to lead us to our prayer points. Thank you, Pastor Angelo, for uh, that very powerful word. No? It's reminding us of, of Daniel. And it, it, this reminds us of 1 Timothy uh, 21 where it says there in that verse, pwede ba natin i-flash yung verse na yun? In 1 Timothy 21, it says there, I urge you then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. This is Paul encouraging the, the Timothy and, and the, 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 the believers back then for kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. I believe in the same way today as we're praying for our nation, as we pray for our national leaders, for our local government leaders, nakikita naman po natin yung balita, I think it is just apt for us, it's appropriate for us really to lift up the leaders that God has, has placed right where they are. But before that, bago po tayo mag-pray, you know, we've asked 
in, here in 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 Pasig, okay? Na that kasi you know um, Vico Mayor Vico is someone who attends our church as well, who grew up in kids' church and everything. And so we've asked him also to share what's happening, just a very quick video of what's happening and what can we pray for here in our city. So let's watch this video. Hi everyone to my Victory Passing family. Good evening. I hope I could uh, be with you all face to face. Pero ganto lang po muna via video or online lang po muna. Ina Pastor Mark and the rest of the pastors and leaders and all the members of Victory Passing. Again, good evening everyone. And I'd like to take this opportunity. Um, I'd like to take this time uh, as we enter our period of prayer and fasting uh, to ask for your prayers. Uh, please stand with the local government of Pasig in prayers as we go through these very difficult times once again uh, with uh, this uh, new surge of COVID-19 with the Omicron variant and whatever else variants there, there are out there. Um, you know, we've, had, we're, we've been having a very difficult time, especially as uh, a, a big number of our staff, particularly our healthcare frontliners, uh, have had to go, uh, have to undergo a quarantine. Uh, for some of our facilities, more than 30% or roughly one-third of our workers have had to go to, through quarantine at the same time. Um, in the, from our uh, vaccination team, um, you know, we've been unable to open more vaccination centers to our hospitals. You know, our nurses and doctors and other staff have been uh, having to pick up additional shifts to the point of near exhaustion. Our contact tracing team is having a difficult time as well. Our command center uh, is unable to you know, quickly answer calls and, 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 and so on. Um, and so we really need your prayers. Let's pray for everyone's protection, good health, and safety. Uh, let's pray for this surge to uh, die down uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, please pray for the leaders of our city, the management of our local government unit, as well as uh, everyone else. Uh, who's involved in decision making uh, for wisdom uh, and discernment as we have to make decisions sometimes very fast uh, in order to uh, keep up um, um, and you know, make the right decisions in order to combat uh, COVID-19. Uh, thank you very much for your prayers. Let's stand together in faith. Uh, despite these difficult times, we know that God is in control. Uh, let's have a fruitful uh, prayer and fasting. Again, thank you everyone. Uh, God bless and I hope to see you all in the near future. Thank you, Mayor Rico, for that uh, message and for that update. No, It's really, uh, when you hear those types of updates na, um, the, the medical uh, frontliners and everyone else, kami na apekto na talaga. And so I, I believe many of our leaders, if not all of our leaders, are being challenged on how to respond to this other surge again. So why don't you join me before we pray, bago tayo mag-pray right where you are, why don't you join me in praying for our national leaders and our LGU as well. Lord, we take this time to lift up Lord Mayor Vico, Lord President Duterte, and everyone else in the government. Lord, you said that that those in authority that we're supposed to pray for them. And so, God, right now, we are asking for your divine wisdom to be upon our leaders. Lord, we recognize that you are the one who ultimately puts people in positions. And we believe, Lord, that we are here to continually, Lord, lift them up to you. And we're praying, God, that even for their plans, for the people, Lord, na, na Lord, walang, walang haharang, we are, we're praying, Lord, for provision for the country, for all of the, the, the things that they need to do. Lord, we're praying that there will be more people who would hear out the, the cries of the people na talagang when they hear what's happening, even companies, the communities, Lord, they will partner with the government and they will continue to build up, Lord, what's happening in the families and kung ano man yung nangyayaring immediate. Lord, we pray, Lord, that there would be unity even. Lord, cover them, even protect them from being sick, protect them from any sins, from protect them from any harm that the enemy has planned for them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Right now, we're going to give you two minutes. We're going to be praying for our national elections as well. We know that there's so many things happening. 
Um, alam natin po, malapit na po yan. Ngayon taon po, paparating na po yan. And so, we're, we're asking, uh, nagkakos po to ng maraming tension, but we are praying that ultimately, people will, yes, they will be good stewards of the vote na meron sila, but at the same time, they will trust God to save our nation. Not idolizing politicians and elections, but we're gonna pray for peaceful and God-ordained transitions. Kasi yan po yung mangyayari of the government after the national election. So we're gonna give you two minutes. Go ahead and pray and believe God. Lord, today we recognize that ultimately we belong to your kingdom. And you are the one we believe that will rescue us. We believe that you are truly our king, who is Lord, sovereign master of everything else. But at the same time, we recognize that you've also placed us here on earth, placed us here in this nation, in this city for a particular purpose. Therefore, Lord, we pray, God, that we would be good stewards. We pray as well, God, that the election, Lord, na there's gonna be it's gonna be peaceful. Lord, we declare that you would cancel, Lord, the plans of the enemy. Lord, sa balita pa lang ngayon, ang dami na, may mga nangyayari, mga hacking at kung ano-ano. But Lord, we pray that you would cancel that. You would not let any plans of the enemy, schemes of the enemy to prosper. We believe, Lord, that you can protect, Lord, that there will be righteousness in this coming election. Lord, that kung sino talaga, Lord, yung, yung gusto mong iangat na ilagay sa posisyon, siya yung mailalagay doon, siya ang mailulok-lok doon dahil prinetektahan mo siya at ginabayan mo siya. Lord, ultimately, again, Lord, whoever gets to that position, Lord, we pray for protection and we pray that our hearts Lord will continually be sold out for you and will trust you in Jesus name amen and amen I hope that you're ready for that and I hope that as days and months are gonna come we're gonna continue to pray for those uh, for the upcoming elections amen now also alam ko ramdam na ramdam natin to it's all over the news that there's we need to also pray for our economy right it's been badly hit it's been a few years already. So many businesses have closed. Yet, our prayer is that the nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth will revere your glory. So let's pray together. Let's pray that our economy will jumpstart. Amen? Yung mga businessmen na na nanonood kayo, you know, alam yan, we're praying with you. Let's pray na makarecover from the reeling effects of the pandemic. And we're gonna ask God for wisdom, provision, and favor for our leaders. 
healthcare workers, and workforce. Go ahead. Let's pray together. we pray right now, Lord, in a time of an upcoming famine, Lord, you've raised up Joseph. You've given him extraordinary wisdom to be of aid to the nations. And Lord, we believe that even right now, God, you're going to raise up. There are people in our nation who will, you will give wisdom, bright ideas on how to recover, on how to be of help and serving so that the economy would recover continually. Lord, we even believe, Lord, that you would open the eyes of the businessmen, you would open the eyes of our leaders, you would open the eyes of, of big company owners, Lord, just like yung, yung time na the disciples only had a few loaves and a few uh, fish, Lord, in that time, ahala nila wala na, but in that time, Lord, you provided, you showed that you're the one who is the source of provision, you show that you are the one na, 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 who is sovereign, in control, always, in a time na parang wala na, parang it would take a long, long time bago pa makapag-provide dun sa mga taong nandun. Lord, in one snap of a finger, when you prayed, Lord, provision continued and even to a point na ang dami pang nauwi ng mga tao. And we believe, Jesus, you can do the same today. We're continually praying for our healthcare workers, for the workforce, for the people who are affected by this pandemic. Yung mga taong na lesson yung pasok sa offices at kung, saan, uh, kung ano pa sa business, Lord, we're praying that they would experience your provision every day for their families and even pang pangapambayad in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Are you in faith for that? Amen? Now also, we're gonna pray. We've seen this time and time and again in Scripture that we would see that Jesus would engage, okay, yung mga people in, in positions, right? People would engage, mga Pharisees, tax collectors, people who had some sort of influence over the, 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 the nation or the city. And even in the book of Acts, we would see Peter one time to the Holy Spirit, God spoke to him and God told Peter to go and preach the gospel to this centurion. And I believe in the same way, we're supposed to not just veer away. Kapag usapang politics, parang nilalayo ang agad natin. But I hope today that when we hear it, we're gonna have the heart to engage the culture. We're gonna have a heart to engage the people in that sphere of society and have a heart to win them. Amen? So we're gonna believe God for peace, 
healing in our nation and for spiritual awakening and harvest of souls. We're going to pray that the Word of God would be proclaimed where people are, that every disciple would engage in the civil life of the nation and preach Christ in every sphere of society. So go ahead. Let's pray again. this time around, we're going to pray for two groups of people. There are people, there are some of you, many of you that we know na nagsuserve ka in, in the government. Okay? You're, maybe you're, you're part of different departments, right? And you're, you're doing uh, your role there and, and we want to pray for you. Alam ko, Siren stretched to lately. There are so many things that you have to do. And, you know, we believe that God's grace is upon your life. So why don't you join me? Why don't we pray, Lord, Right now, we're lifting you up. Lord, lahat ng mga victory group leaders, victory group members, volunteers, who are not just people who are leading inside the church, but they're also, have a, you have placed them in the civil government to be part and, and, and to serve there. Lord, we're praying that you would continually protect them. Lord, guide their steps. We're praying, God, that you're the one who's going to continually fuel the mission. You're the one who's going to affirm the calling that you've given them. You've brought them there not because it's an accident, but you've positioned them there strategically and you're going to give them the wisdom. You're going to give them the grace. You're going to give them the anointing to speak your truth when it's needed. To speak, Lord, and give direction where people think there's no direction. To bring your righteousness. To bring upon your knowledge, Lord, when, when there seems to be blur and nawawala ng, ng, ng papupuntahan yung mga tao. Lord, you're going to give them the, the heart to even counsel when, when kapag meron sila mga nililid na team. Lord, you're, you're going to do that and you're going to help them and they're going to see fruits, Lord, happening right where they are. We believe that, Lord, that they're there not just to be a design, they're there to be salt and to be your light. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. But also, not just that, we're also going to pray because we believe that the church is not just a missionary sending church. Okay, yun yung pinag-pray natin kagabi. But we believe that the church is also so is called to produce leaders who will not just be victory group leaders, campus missionaries, or missionaries to the world, but they're also going to be missionaries in the government. How many of you, you believe that you're, you're, God has called you for that? Some of you, you may be a student right now. Some of you may be, uh, maybe iba yung professional mo, but you know that God has stirred up your heart. Maybe this past year or past few years, there has been that, that 
parang holy discontent na nararamdaman mo na parang every time maririnig mo yung politics, there's something in you that just wants to go out there and serve and, 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 and you know, allow God to lead, right? And so if that's you, we want to pray with you. We want to pray that that calling that God has placed in your heart, that God will sharpen that, God will fuel that, and that eventually you're going to find yourself there as you obey God. Amen? And so, Father, we believe that there are people that you have called for civil government. Lord, we believe here in Pasig and Estancia. Lord, we believe that there are uh, not just a few, but many people that will, we will see that will bring about transformation in our community, in our city, in our nation. And so we believe, Lord, by faith. Lord, some of them may, may be there thinking, am I even qualified for that? Can I really do that? Lord, thank you because if you are the one who has called us, then you're the one who's going to equip us, who's going to qualify us. Lord, you're the one who's going to give us the grace to serve, maybe in even little ways today. Lord, I believe that just as Joseph, Joseph never ever thought that he's going to be there someday, but he just continued to serve where he is. But eventually, you're the one who brought them there. And so, Lord, we trust you. Lord, we trust you that you're, go the, you're, you're going to be the one to protect our ways to sharpen our integrity, Lord, our, our fear of the Lord, so that when we get there, we're able to really bless you and give you praise to our service. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know, if ikaw yon and you really feel that, you know, and maybe you're looking for people to talk to, just do let us know. May mga Victory Group leaders tayo, may mga pastors and staff. Let us know so we can be of help so that we can talk about that even more. Amen. Now, isn't it good to pray for our nation? Talagang refreshing, di ba? And we're gonna continue to believe God for breakthroughs for our nation. And so, um, today, tomorrow, we're gonna pray naman for, our, for the church. And so, uh, we want to, again, encourage you, okay? Parang, parang na-stuck na ako, no? Sa, di ganun ba yung pag-date na? Okay, parang, um, to, unang-una, meron tayong padlet, Okay? Dito, pwede niyo po ilagay yung mga prayer, ano nyo, mga pinagpipray po natin. Kanina lang, we just uh, got a message of someone, one of our volunteers being healed, okay, from na, kumbaga, from a severe case na nagka-COVID and now getting healed, getting better, recovering. And so, we ask, na, continue, let's share one ana to one another what God is doing. Let's share to one another our prayer, our, our prayer points so that we can pray together and believe God together as well. Amen? Again, join us tomorrow. We're gonna have our 12 noon meeting pa rin. Same Facebook page, okay? At meron din po tayong 7 p.m. We're gonna be praying for our church. Amen? Okay, if if ready na kayo, okay? Uh, alam ko kahapon, nag-ano tayo, nag-worship tayo. Why don't you join me as we worship God? Dadyak lang. Okay, day to pala kung ano-ano na yung mga nasasabi ko. But I hope you're gonna continue to abide in the Word even as we, uh, as we wrap up our prayer and meeting tonight. Lord, sustain us. Continue, Lord, to uh, maghari ka sa puso namin at sa bansa namin. Itinataas namin ang iyong pangalan. Sa ngalan ni Jesus, Amen at Amen. God bless you and we're going to see you again tomorrow.